Hello, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me, Vanessa. So let's take a look at this question and I'm going to show you that although it looks difficult, but it can actually be solved easily with what you have been learning. So let's take a look. There were 286 more balloons than soft toys at a carnival at first. There were 16 more, 16% 16 more balloons sold than soft toys sold. The number of soft toys left was 162 more than the number of balloons left. So how many balloons then soft toys were sold? Part A. Part B, how many balloons were sold? And this question is taken from Frafford's Girls Primary, um, 2016 prelim paper, question, uh, paper 2, question 17. So now, how are we going to use, how are we going to solve this question easily? Let's take a look here. So in this case, as you have noticed, we have two differences. One is at first and one is in the end. Let's proceed to draw the model for this two. Okay, so let's start with the at first. We were told that there were 286 more balloons than soft toys at the carnival. So let's just draw this part. Okay, I think that is so simple that a P2 student would know how to um, draw it as well. Right, so nothing typical, right? Okay. Move on to the next one in the end. We are told that uh, the number of soft toys left was 162 more than the number of balloons left. So in this case, right now, we have a situation whereby the soft toys was, the number of soft toys was more than the number of balloons. Again, it's nothing difficult because you just draw as what we are told. Okay? And that, we are making a comparison. So when we are making a comparison, we compare the at first and in the end, so we draw the dotted lines, right? And this part must be my 162 as well, right? Obvious? <laughs> Easy? Okay, so now that is where you need to have an understanding of your percentage and what it means with regards to the change. There was 16% more balloons sold than soft toys sold. So what does it mean? It means that, okay, the base is the soft toys sold, and your base is 100%. If that is the case, then the number of balloons sold will be 116% of what the soft toys sold. Right. So putting in that information into the question, we know that this particular rate portion is the number of soft toys sold. And let's call it 100%. Agree? And if this is 100%, correspondingly, this will also be the 100% with regards to the balloon model, right? And then, what were we told? These two blue portions actually refer to the number, the additional number of balloons sold, right? And that gives you the 16%. And you have answered part one, part A easily with that of your model, right? Then everything is simple because all your solutions can be found from the model itself. So how many balloons were sold? We know that the balloon was 116%. So what is the value of 116%? As you can see, if we have worked out what is 16%, we know how to work out 1% and so on and so forth, right? You see that this question is, is, it can be solved easily. But I notice a lot of students, they tend to complicate and map the questions, or worse, some of them are not applying model drawing skill to the question. They feel that as they go higher up to P5, P6, model is useless. But trust me, model is not that useless as you think it is. And I want to reiterate is that there is no one-size-fits-all strategy tool. So I hope that you have benefited from this video presentation and if you do, please give me a like, be it on my YouTube or on my Facebook group. As I intend to do it on a weekly basis at least, do join me on my Facebook group PSLE Math Make Easy with Van and I hope to see you. Goodbye.